Throughout YouTube's history, they've done plenty of design choices, but they've been pretty inoffensive. Messing with people's precious YouTube is a high risk, which is why the web player UI hasn't been touched in 10 years. But YouTube is testing a new web player, so let's analyze it from a designer perspective to see if the risk they're taking is worth it. There are three main changes. The control bar has been put into fragmented capsules. The old is a unified semi-transparent gradient strip, and the new one has these opaque pills for each button. The second big change is the volume controls moving to the right side. The left is the play, pause, next, and timestamp buttons, and the right now has the volume subtitles and settings. The last big change is the opacity and visibility tweaks. The capsules are fully opaque and they don't bleed into the video content. Let's look at these changes through UX laws. Controls are now discrete elements, which is good because they are big and easy to click, but the wider gaps could lead to more travel time between buttons. The old bar also gives you a mental chunk of the controls, and the new pills pop visually, which is nice, but maybe breaking them into islands forces the user to hunt each pill. Now, I do think moving the volume helps avoid misclicks, but the visual separation could increase cognitive load for more choices, and the capsules are modern, and they feel higher quality, but do you gain more than you lose from changing the stable UI that people have been using? Using for years? I don't know. The flip side is that they might be making these changes to align more with their other platforms that need larger hit areas to click. But I want to hear from you guys. What do we think? Is it worth the risk?